Moving on to task AG2, uh, it goes on to say open a new document using word processing software, enter these details in the footer and save the document as task AG2. So once again, I come into my folder, I right click and I say new word document. The name is supposed to be task AG2. And once I open this document, also a quick tip for all of you is as you keep completing a task, keep closing those files. Now if you notice over here, my task AG1 is closed and my Photoshop document has also been closed. Okay, I'm trying to free up my RAM as much as possible so that my laptop would work efficiently. So now, as you all know, you can come into insert and say insert footer or else what you can do is you can come right to the bottom of your page and double click, the footer tab opens. And over there you can type task AG2, task AG2, your name, candidate number, center number. And you can click over here, close header and footer. And then uh, next the question goes on to say save, saving has already been done. Sammy wants to use the image group on the club's website. In a suitable graphics package, open the image group from the images folder. So once you come into the images folder, you will be noticing there's an image called group. You are required to open this using a suitable graphics package. So now you have two choices. We can use either paint or Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead with Photoshop. So I'm just going to right click over here and say open with Adobe Photoshop. And uh, <coughs> Photoshop opens opens up. Okay, this is my image. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, the image shows a group of people in front of a wall. The image must remain rectangular. Okay, so that is something you're supposed to keep in mind while you do all these tasks. So first thing is crop the image, remove the lower half of the people to approximately waist level. So let's come back here and here we have our crop tool. Okay, if you click on it, you can see the shortcut key for uh, one minute. If you just keep the cursor on it for some time, crop tool shortcut key is C. So approximately up to waist level. So I'm just going to adjust this up to their waist level somewhere over here okay, that's fine yep then next it goes on to say the person on the left so the person on the left of the image too has to be cropped out so let me bring that over here let's get rid of the hand and then it goes on to say uh, the two people on the right the two people on the right these two people okay and then it goes on to say uh, the section of the wall above the people, the section of the wall, so this particular area, let's bring that down as well, okay, and there's nothing else to crop, okay, so what we do is we just press enter, once you press enter, your image has now been cropped, then it goes on to say there is a window in the wall, the black rectangle between the male with the black top and the female with the brown top, alter the image that the window is no longer visible, okay, so they're talking about a window in the wall between the male with the black top yeah so they're talking about this area okay so we're supposed to alter the image so that the window is no longer visible okay so uh, what you can do is you can take a paintbrush and color this as the same color as this uh, or else uh, you can there are various tools what I'll be using I'll be using the uh, color picker tool this tool over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want an exact copy of this particular color okay you see I just click on there and over here can you see that color has appeared over here okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paint brush from over here so my paint brush is inside over here take the brush tool okay and this is the size of my paint brush cursor it might be big for you it might be too small for you always remember from over here you can adjust the size okay and then you just come over here and neatly just alter it a bit okay try to make it Okay, so that looks fine. You have altered that image. And then what it goes on to say is save the image as calls. Okay, so uh, come over here, file, save as. Uh, let's come out of the images folder and save this as calls. Once again, if you want, you can save the Photoshop file and the JPEG file. Uh, no harm in that. I'm going to directly save it only as a JPEG copy. So click on save and say okay. That's done as well. And then it goes on to say paste a copy of calls into task AG2. So let's come back over here. Here my image calls is saved. Right click copy. Come into Microsoft Word and right click or you can say control V. Your image has been pasted. Then it goes on to say answer this question on document task AG2. The image will be used on a website. Explain one benefit of reducing the size of the image calls before it is used on the website. Okay, so the size of the image has been reduced and it is going to be used on a website. 
So what we need to understand is when the size of an image has been reduced, the file size will also reduce. So you can go on to say when the size, when the, uh, what did they say? Yeah, when the size of the image, when the size of the image is reduced, this leads to the file size reducing. Okay, so when the file size, this leads to the file size reducing, this in turn would allow the image to load much faster on the website. Okay, so they have told us is they're going to use this on the, on, on, on the website. So, of course, when the size of the image reduces, the file size of the image will also reduce. So, this in turn will allow the image to load much faster on the website. And then they say resave task AG2, which we already did. And then they say print task AG2 on one side of A4. 